viewers may find the following footage deeply disturbing. Hello and welcome back to In The Kitchen With Pen. Now, last week was British Pie Week. This week, it is the first ever Pie and Mash Week. Now, I get your thinking, well, Pie and Mash, yeah, that's what I have. But no, this is traditional London, East End, if you like, Pie and Mash. So, that's what Steve's having for dinner. No, not me, I don't like them. But I'm gonna have, do you remember my steak and onion pies that I made a week or so back, probably well, about two weeks back now. I'm gonna have one of those. Steve is having proper London pie and mash. And we have bought pies from probably the most famous pie shop in London, Manzi's. And all you do is you heat them in the micro, obviously you take them out of the metal container. You heat them upside down in the microwave for a minute and a half. Two minutes for two pies, so you just add on 30 seconds for each extra pie. Then you put them back into their foil dishes and you heat them in the oven for about five minutes or until piping hot and that will mean that you haven't got a soggy bottom or a soggy pastry in any way because soggy pastry no 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 my mash yes i'm doing from scratch but i'm doing it in my pressure cooker so i've peeled my potatoes i've sat them on the trivet and uh, they're going to cook away in there for about eight minutes. Now, pie and mash. Pie, mash and gravy? No, 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 no. Liquor, liquor, which is basically a parsley sauce traditionally made with the water or from the water that you stewed your eels in. Now, Manzies do sell stewed eels, but Steve doesn't like stewed eels. And we couldn't get any jelly deals at the supermarket we went to today. So eels are off the menu, but liquor isn't. And this is traditional liquor, but a lazy man's liquor. This we purchased mm, last year or the year before possibly from Goddard's and all I have to do two tablespoons of this and 200 yes I remembered 200 ml of water and I'll have my proper liquor now what else goes with pie and mash and liquor vinegar but not just any vinegar this looks like a medicine bottle I promise you it's not this is Manzi's chili vinegar. Okay, so chili vinegar, liquor, mash, pies. But what are we gonna have to drink? We, I'm using the royal we. We're going to have traditional sarsaparilla. Pick this up in Asda and it's £1.95, so it's not cheap. But surprisingly enough, we had a little glass this morning. It's a um, squash that I would drink because it's not too sweet. That's what my problem with squash is. I find them over sweet. Now, sarsaparilla is a root. And I mean, this says an authentic and refreshing drink from the Caribbean, but it's an authentic drink that you would have with pie, mash and liquor in a pie and mash shop. And pie and mash shops are becoming rarer as we speak. They are becoming rarer. But we're going to bring you today a pie and mash traditional traditional everything apart from the mash i will i'll try not to make my mash lumpy because i've had it in a pie and mash shop and it's a little bit lumpy so 
These are going to have two minutes in the microwave and then five minutes or so in the oven. And as soon as my kasori comes to pressure, I'll start. But basically, this is it. Pie, mash, liquor, chilli vinegar, and a glass or two of sarsaparilla. So we shall be back probably when I pop them into the oven. Actually, I've just taken the pies out and I want to show you the pie that I made. Look at the bottom of that, it's been in the freezer and it's perfect. I hope heating it the way that Manzies suggests works. And this is, oh look at that, that's the bottom of a Manzies pie. And they, they actually smell okay. I've, I've just got this like mm, mental block. I don't like them, but I'm sure I would, but I'm having mistaken onion. Oh, and this is so true when I go to the supermarket. I can't reach the top shelves. I've often been known to stand on the bottom shelf to reach the top, but hey ho. The pies have almost had their time in the microwave so let's go and get them out. Alright there's one. Obviously it's warm but not hot enough yet and it will be quite soggy because pastry that's cooked in the microwave is soggy. So right and there's the homemade steak and onion minced beef pies there remember right I've got three minutes left on the potato so let's pop these into here and yes that is really hot that's what we have rubber, um, oven gloves for and we'll let those finish heating in there and I'll just get the liquor ready. So one, two spoonfuls, and as I say, we just top it up with 200 ml of boiled water. Potatoes have finished, so I'm going to release the pressure. I have the extractor pan on. And I'm going to use my potato ricer. And uh, I'll show you that in use. Some of you may not have seen me use it before. So, um, it's all coming together quite nicely. Right, this is a trivet that I cooked the potatoes on. So they've not got so soggy at all, which can sometimes happen with potatoes. So all I'm going to do is pop some into the potato ricer. And I'm pretty sure they don't use potato ricers in the pie and mash shops, but if you know better, Help me. And then I just push down and I get perfect potato. All I need to do is add some seasoning, a little bit of butter, and uh, aha, that's very hot. Bring it all together. Right, so we'll go in with some salt, some pepper. Push that so hard it nearly came out. Um, and some butter. Now I'm just going to use lower pack. You use whatever butter you use. A good knob of butter. And then we just have to bring this together. And because I'm doing it in the bowl of 
my pressure cooker I'm using a silicone spatula because I do not want to scratch but look I mean how smooth is the mash it's perfectly smooth so that's that finished I just need to make the liquor and we'll be away right now for the liquor and there it is in the jug and I need to add 200 ml of boiled water and we're there obviously I've got to keep stirring 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 this wasn't the best of jugs to use because it's got ow shoot that hurt In this jug it's going to take some mixing to make sure that I've got all of the powder. So, so far I haven't. So keep mixy, mixy, mixy. And I'm going to get a whisk. I've got a small whisk here. do look just like you'd get at a pie and mash shop so they tend to serve them upside down I'll do one up the right way just so you can see it and then what they do with the mash they put it on I'm wearing a glove because my plate's hot would serve pie and mash and of course they would put the liquor on for you so I'm going to see if I can persuade Steve to come out and give you a taste test and there is our sarsaparilla Well, who's a happy boy for the first time in a very long time? Oh my, it's got a smile on my face. Uh, my beautiful wife has uh, made me pie mesh and obviously pies from Manzi's. So it's as close. Bloody hell, it's plate salt. <laughs> um, there you go. <laughs> you want? Lick my fingers. <laughs> Love you dearly, darling. Right, anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. I've got, I want to take a photo, so you carry on. Don't cut. Don't cut. No cut. Liquor. Traditional. Oh, this. Hold on one moment. Pen, get hold of that camera. Yeah. And let's get a dirty video of me pouring. Okie dokie. Let's see. Ooh. Hang on, let's start again. And I'll put this in slow motion, just for Bridget. As I say, the um, liquor is from Goddard's. Probably could do it in a little bit looser, but I won't know. Really? Gosh. No, it should be, you could be a little bit looser. Yeah. Right. So, I'm not mucking about it. Oh, you're not using any vigor now? Oops, shut up, Penny. Yeah, please do. Oh, 
bit of meat. It's going to be bloody hot, isn't it? Here we go. You've got your sarsaparilla there to cool you down. I came very close to saying, hold me up, Sharon. <laughs> Superb. Excellent. Right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to watch the bloody videos. Well, I'm not nearly so London as Steve, obviously. I mean, I was born in Hertfordshire for a start. But there's mine. I've got pie, mash, and beans. But I just want to know and let you know honestly what this pie tastes like having been frozen defrosted and reheated oh well it's certainly look it's certainly hot isn't it <coughs> just as a side how do you describe the taste of sarsaparilla it's kind of like a, coal, a, a flat coke. Best way I can describe it anyway. Look at that. I nearly did a Steve, didn't I? Just look at that pie. Wonderful. Right, the pastry is good. It's not soggy. Let's try the filling. A lovely bit of meat steaming. Oh, right. If you've made these pies following my video, that's the way to reheat them. Defrost them a minute and a half per pie in the microwave, then five or six minutes in the oven at 180. Perfect. But pie and mash week. I've got a happy Steve, yes. And um, well, thanks for watching this video and we shall see you again very soon in the kitchen with Pen. Bye bye.